Hey guys, what's going on? Me asking back for a brand new video, and today I'm making my tutorial on how to make this. This is going to be very annoying, very difficult to make, but very quick and easy for you guys. Anyway, so I'm going to move these two out of the way. Now, oh no, what have I done? I'm breaking it already. There you go. Anyway, so first thing up, we're making three of these. So we are putting two to the side. Bear in mind, you've got to do this three times if you have three of them. If you don't, if you only have one uh, snow trip battle pack, and you can make this with just one snow trip battle pack. And you have, actually, let me show you, you get two pieces left over. So bonus pieces. Anyway, um, let's put this up into segments. Okay, I now have it sectioned up. So let me show you how to make it. So first, you get this um, with L plate, I guess you could call it, and stick this bit where you put a minifigure in, like that. Now, you get this, where you get um, a 3x2, and then you put this bit on top, like that. And you get two of those bits like that. You get those two bits. Then, stick these on, push them to the side, like that. And you simply just whack this together, like that. But, for now, we're going to actually move on to this one so we get a v clip there we put that in then we get the uh if you can see through that hole you get the free one where it's like two up and two across like you, you know what i mean the l the l shape one then you get two of these pieces here with the studs on the side like these two pieces on the like back and you get the megaphone stick on the like back and put that weird bit on the end there like so now we get this get this you make sure that's like that in that shape we now get this put it underneath and put it up underneath like, like so now uh next thing we do is we now connect this like so now let's move on a bit we get this which is just that weird shape with weird seat, I guess you could call it. Now you whack it. Why am I struggling so much? Maybe I should switch hands. Okay. Bang. Like so. Then you get these two bits. Like so. Like that. Now, here comes a slightly more difficult part. Well, not really difficult, but yeah. So you get that um two by two with those things on the side you stick these on like so as little levers then get those two clips put them bomb put that over the top put the control panel and you stick one of those inverted in there now you simply um click so click switching hands again good god so i'm gonna Get this, get these clips, move these out of the way, line it up like so, like so, like that. Now you put, oh I've done it the wrong way, oh my god I'm so stupid. But you, oh, oh no, no, oh, I was right. There you go, oh no. Come on Alex, line it up, get it. This is really difficult to do with one hand. Who knew you couldn't build a Lego set with one hand? Good God, I'm going to just click. Okay, I've now got it on. I promise you it was, isn't that difficult with two hands. Now you fold it up, like that. Now, this little slot in here, where you put your minifigure, you've got these to hold on to, with hands, then that can move, you've got the control panel. Now... Next bit is this one, so as you can see, get those weird grey bits like that, put these facing down, then get this piece here, just slide it on like that, and you get this bit, which if we actually pull back a little bit, ah, like so, that was unbelievably difficult, I don't know why, maybe it's because I'm using my left hand only, now we line it up, poke it in that hole, Make sure it's tightly in. There you go. 
and now you simply get this bit now you slide it all the way back then there you go and this can move down like that and now last but not least you get this piece i'm sure you can figure out how to make that turn it upside down and connect like there like that that was surprisingly annoyingly difficult to make with one hand anyway let's move on to this we're gonna section this up we're gonna take that and take that okay so first up you get this i'm sure you can see how that is you literally just get a cone piece and connect it to a little blaster thing now next up this might be a little bit more complicated but you get that so you can see it like a tnt pusher thing you put a cone up like that and you put two black handles put the black lightsaber hilt put a cone like that then here you put this stud uh the back click that in put this clip on the side you can make a scope like that and then you stick a stud shooter on the side with that bit there stick on the side like so then all you do is you build this you put a clip here to put the weapon you then put a if you can see how it's done you get that two by four you just put it onto twos there put that black slidey bit there there's a gap here but that's fine and you get this um four by one slope along here and you get a four by one slope along here on top of that stud and you get a four by one slope here and then you get a slope here that's connected now you simply get this you see this cone of bomb you then connect it on this stud like so as you can see and you got a little weird sniper thing now you can actually connect this here as a weapon to use your minifigure now last but not least this which might be most difficult to do on camera so we're going to quickly section this up okay it's now been all split up you can see our first section we get this i'm sure you can see the shape of the tile you then get that slope like that get those three studs in there like that get this two by four get a slope there slope there facing in like that a slope here down like that you get a slope like that and you stick that cheese wedge cheese wedge in there cheese wedge here four by one slope you go oh no broken a piece where does this go? That's going to be that cheese slope that's on here. Yeah. Right. right. Now. Oh my god. That's section one. Let's move on to section two. This bit. You can see. It's got a 4x2 thing that goes in here. It's got a 4x1 goes across there. It's got a slope here, slope here, cheese wedge, cheese wedge. It's got a slope, four by one slope along there, slope, slope. Now I will show you how to piece these together correctly later on. Now here we've got the four by two, got connector, got three by one slope, got slope, 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 cheese wedge, cheese wedge. You've got loads of stuff here. You've got loads of slopes and cheese wedges. Now, oh no. Anyway, so that doesn't look right, does it? No. Uh oh. I'm gonna cut and figure out where that's supposed to go. Okay, I'm back. Turns out the annoying thing is I was right. Yep, being right for once, how annoying. Anyway, back to it. So you see this. Got those two slots of that. Got clip. Got cheese wedges. Got that stud underneath there. Got two studs, one stud like that. Quite nicely looking. Let's move that to the side. This one, you got a uh, uh, one by three slope, cheese slope thingy. Got two cheese wedges. Got slope, slope on a two by four. Now, last but not least, or definitely not least, because it's a full auto cannon, you get that weird clear thing there, which you get two spare off in this alternate build total. Get the cone and get this to swipe your handle when you get that weird handle with the studs on I told you about earlier. Stick that through there, it's a cone. And on top you get nothing and on the side you put stud stud shooters. 
Then down here, you put the what TNT handle pusher thing, you know what I mean? Look, candle, um, cone, lightsaber hilt. Yes, I purposely put it this way. It's not me doing it uh, backwards accidentally. It's purposely gone this way. But lightsaber hilt, if it's got a lightsaber blade, you come out this way. Anyway, so now we all connect this together. Ugh. I'm going to see if I can do this one hand. I'm going to give an attempt. If I can't, I will just cut. In fact, I'm not going to be able to. But I will show you where they go. It goes like this. It goes like this. See that G slope? Uh, no, not that one. It's the overhanging one. No, oh wait, no, it's this one. This one goes here. Like that. You see that G slope's got to go over those studs. That's got to go under. And like that it goes like that. It goes like that, but then that's got to go over. You got to sandwich it, right? But yeah, like kind of like that. You, you, I'm sure you get. Then. This goes here, like this. This goes here, like this. No. This goes there. Um. Oh, no. It's all coming apart. So this goes here. No. Oh, I'll connect it together and you can just use your eyes. There you go. It's all now connected up together. You can see. You get that clear bit there. Clips onto that stud so it can move up and down. Handle and side to side. Then I'll flip it upside down so you can see the way the base plate is supposed to go. Then how all this just goes together. Like so. And it looks quite cool. Got a U-shape you could hide in there. Half the uh, snow troopers could go pew pew pew. Rebel, in fact, rebel troopers could go pew pew pew. You could do whatever you want. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. That was how to build this. I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace.